Hey everyone, it's Debbie Dews here from Home Pressure Cooking, and today I am doing a little experiment. I am making a chicken pot pie in the Instant Pot using a Jiffy cornbread mix. Um, I'm kind of winging it and making it up as I go because I've never done it before. So if it is a success, you will see me sharing this, okay? So what I'm doing first is I'm sauteing some butter, okay? I took a half a stick of butter and I stuck it in the pot and I have the pot on saute mode right now. So I'm letting that melt. And then I took three chicken breasts and I cubed those up, all right? I have half a cup of green beans, a cup of carrots, a half a cup of cream of chicken soup, the Jiffy Mix, and one egg, all right? I am going to be using a springform pan for this recipe. So I did foil it on the bottom around just in case I do get a little leakage. Um, if you're familiar with springform pans, they can on occasion leak depending on what you have in it. Uh, but because this is gonna be heavy, I thought I'll take precaution. Probably don't need it though, all right? So the first thing I'm gonna do is throw in my chicken because I can see the heat is coming up on my pot. You hear that sizzling? Whenever you're using oil or butter, you wanna get that nice and warm first before you throw in your um, meat that you're sauteing, all right? So we're gonna let that sizzle up and I'm gonna use a little fresh ground pepper just to season my chicken. If you like a lot, you can you know do it generously. I'm not going to use any salt. I typically don't cook with a lot of salt. I feel that if people like salt, they can add it after, okay? So we're just gonna get that nice and brown. And while that is sauteing, we will start our Jiffy Mix, all right? The Jiffy Mix is an 8.5. You can find these in your grocery store for like 59 cents. They're awesome. I noticed today they also carry a vegetarian one. So if you wanted to make this recipe and keep out the chicken, you can do that. Just have a vegetable pot pie. Add in more veggies. So I am gonna use the whole box of mix. All this should fit very nicely in the Instant Pot, no problem. Just break up the crumbles. Okay, I'm gonna use one egg that the Jiffy calls for. And in lieu of milk, this is where I'm going to use my cream of chicken. So we'll just get the, all that in. Mix it up really well. Check on that chicken. Sauteing real nice. You don't want it to stick. It shouldn't go with all the butter in there. I'm just going to take all this ingredients and make sure that the dry jiffy is moist. You know, I'm going to add in a little bit of water as well, just about. Two teaspoons because the cream of chicken is a little thick so uh, that's better as I said this is an experiment so we're just playing around guys I love to be your guinea pig all right so I'm going to set that aside 
Now you don't have to get the chicken completely cooked because we are putting everything in the Instant Pot together. You just want to lightly saute it, get that little butter flavor in there. Okay. I'm going to spray the bottom of my seven inch form. Now, if you have parchment paper, you can use that as well. You don't have to use parchment paper, but just make sure that you spray the bottom of your pan so you don't have any sticking issue. All right. And I think that looks pretty good as far as saute goes. I will kick this off. And I'm going to layer the bottom of my pan with the chicken. I like to use the spurtle with the slats because you get all that excess oil off. Just tap it. This is also a wonderful mixing spoon. Salad server as well. Kind of a the utensils of all trades. And just spread your chicken evenly around your pan. I will be including the recipe card along with this video so you can follow it better because sometimes I do trip up on my words and what I say and what I do are two different things. So that's why I like to write it down after I do it. Now this will make a nice hearty meal for my family. Uh, it's actually just my son and I this evening, but I wanted to make something comforting for him because tomorrow he takes his SAT for college and the pressure of these kids today to get into a good college is a lot harder than when we went to school. So I want him to have a good hearty meal and feel content. All right, so then I'm going to take my half a cup of carrots. And I have one cup of carrots here, but I think we're going to only do a half a cup with these as well. You just want to make sure it's all even. I'll add a little more pepper. And then this is where I'm going to take my cornbread mixture and my cream of chicken soup. And I'm going to pour it on top. And I'm thinking we will bake this for about 23 minutes or so. We'll see if that is sufficient and if it's not then I'll pop it in for another two or three minutes but the details will be written down for you all right so you just want to spread it all around nice and even cover all the vegetables and the chicken You don't want it to be lopsided, so just take your utensil and mix it or spread it evenly. Okay, I think it is ready. I'm going to scrape the bottom of the, the butter and the bits. You really don't need to dump it out. I'm just going to add my cup of water to the pot. One cup. And then I'm going to lower my pan in the pot. Make sure it gets on there even. And as I mentioned, we will do manual high pressure for, I'm going to do 25, 25 minutes, all right? And as I mentioned, if this works out, I will take a photo 
write up the recipe card and I mean not write up the photo. I will take a photo, write up the recipe card and I will share it with you, okay? Thanks for joining me. Debbie Dews here from Home Pressure Cooking. See y'all later. Bye.